Fred the local villager. I broke YouTube. I've only got an hour, so we got to make the best of it, ladies and gents. Um, but I guess there was like a global YouTube meltdown. So you break a bus, you break a bus. So there you are. What's everybody up to? Are uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. A little bit uh, tired, but the show must go on, ladies and gents. We work hard. Invite Varg to your church. <laughs> I just saw that. Lay down your souls to the gods of rock and roll. Yeah, Venom. Stop avoiding me in Fortnite. I'm not avoiding you. The girls are playing right now. I got scared when YouTube was down. No story. I know. I know. I know she's a real star of the show. But uh, she's she's uh, incognito right now. But you're only going to have me for an hour. What y'all up to? I am here. Let the show begin. Okay, Revere. What are we talking about? We must have shot like eight, nine, ten videos. What's good, BM fan? BM, are you going to call me and explain to me uh, the Proud Boys and what the hell they were doing? I'm going to be calling to yell at you. <laughs> what do you do as a regular day job? If I told you that, I'd have to kill you, sir. Oh, you got a notification on the fireside. Very good. Uh, talk about Saudi Arabia and that nonsense. Well, call me up and talk about it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what Trump is supposed to do about the Saudis. Or about targeted killing. Yeah, this would have to kill you. We've got a symbiotic relationship as far as like uh, mutual assured destruction if our identities are revealed. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Rachel Hoover. Two fire. Well, it's one fireside web, but um, you know, you know how it goes. It was a journalist. Yeah, yeah. It's really fucked up what happened to that guy. And then, and then there. What what is it? Trump saying is it's a rogue uh, operators, rogue uh, operators from whatever. It's like, okay. It's obviously, to me, it's obviously state-sanctioned. He, there was obviously state-sanctioned. So I don't understand how he's even, it concerns me that he's even trying to be a mouthpiece for the, for the excuse-making. I mean, I think you just have to fall on the sword. They killed that guy. So there you are. Who's talking to me? Uh, Evan. Who's this? Uh, hey, BM. So, um, I am talking about two things. One is the, I need a delineation of the whole Proud Boys fiasco that happened over the weekend. Okay. But the other thing I was talking about that I need help thinking through is this whole thing with, uh, Kachogi, I think his name is. Uh, Kachogi? Yeah. The, um, the, the, the journalist. Yep, yep. So... What do you think should... Do you agree that it's obviously the Saudis that did this? There wasn't some rogue uh, operators. I would probably have to put it to Occam's razor. Right. Simplest explanation, uh, it's right? It's just the simplest explanation. Okay. One of the things I'm trying to figure out is what would the motivation... Was he critical of the crown prince? Is that pretty much what happened? I believe he was critical. Um, I followed a little bit of this, not a super, super ton. But it, from what I could gather, yes, he was he was very critical. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you heard, but like, <laughs> it's like it was a four hundred pound hacker. Didn't Trump say something like that? Like, anyway, um, what do you think should happen to him uh, and to to the Saudis now? Uh, this is this is the fun thing about politics and foreign relations. Um, like Saudi Arabia is just so freaking powerful and whatnot. Um, I idly, like, generally, when things like this happen, you know, we look to the international community and we impose sanctions. Um, but Saudi Arabia is obviously not gonna like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were saying, and of course, I don't think the Russians would participate in any sanctions against Saudi Arabia. No, you know what I mean. It's like, hey, you know, it, this is, uh, you know, this is what we do. 
We all do targeted killings, so what the fuck is the problem? That's what Putin's thinking, probably. So if, if we do these, if we do these sanctions, the Sa the the Russians aren't going to participate. The Saudis are going to do the billion dollar arms deal with them, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, what can we do? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> that's uh, that's just the reality of the situation. Like, we're, it's it's a catch twenty two. Either way, it's, it's shit. Either way, we continue to ally with Saudi Arabia, and that just makes us look bad. Or we take stand, and then that still, you know, makes us, you know, in a poor position. Yeah. And what do you do? Do you destabilize the Middle East by going after the Saudis? Uh, the know. Middle East is already so fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. We, we have been mucking around in there for so long, and it only gets worse. Yeah. By the way, Ben, Dirk, the fact that YouTube died doesn't mean that Skype died. I was on the phone with the brother on Skype. So there goes that theory. Okay, all right, now it's time to talk about Antifa, BM. All right. So I'm here in contradict. Okay, so here's a narrative that I know so far, and I will admit that I wasn't really digging in into this a lot. So a lot of this is fact-finding for me, but... Okay. So... The Proud Boys or the prayer, the Patriot Prayer thing was happening in Oregon. Is that right? Um, it, I think there was a thing going on in Portland. The thing that the, the the main event that happened though was in was in New York. Shit, we were just there. Okay, and and then the Proud Boys started attacking people and beating people up. Uh, this okay. So, um, there's a whole bunch of events here. I'm I'm specifically talking about. The incident in that happened in, in uh, was the Manhattan Metropolitan Republican Club or whatever that was called. Okay. Um, so what happened is they invited Gavin McInnes, who is the leader of the Proud Boys, to come down and give like a speech thingy, uh, basically celebrating a political assassination back in 1960 Japan. Um, a young, I think, 17-year-old uh, far-right extremist uh, rushed the stage of a televised debate. Uh, and assassinated uh, one of the candidates with a with a sword. Shit! In real uh, life, that should actually happen. Yes, that, look uh, look it up. It's the assassination of who is it? Uh, hang on. And 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 they're celebrating this. Yes, it was a celebration. The assassination of Inajiro Asanuma. Okay, why were they? He was uh, he was a socialist, so. Oh, so because he was, was assassinated a... by nationalists while speaking in a televised political debate in Tokyo, his violent death was seen in graphic detail on national television. What happened? What happened to the guy who did it? Uh, he was uh, arrested and committed suicide in jail. And they're they're hailing this guy as a hero. Yes. Who basically <laughs> committed an act of terrorism. Yes. Oh my God! What in this the is, world? This is why, like, if you watch, like, uh, back when when Fox News had their coverage, uh, as they're talking about this, you actually see Gavin McInnes, you know, as he's standing outside, he pulls out a sword and brandishes it in front of everybody before he gets into his heart. <laughs> like, yeah, this this event was in celebration of this assassination. Whoa, M. Death Fan is in the house. I think M. Death Fan is like the the kind of opposite of you, so. Um, hopefully he can get on the phone because maybe you guys. I mean, can... like, also, also, I. Here's another great thing. Uh, Gavin McGinnis recently posted on his Instagram uh, the assassination. Actually, what Except the fuck? Except he used the. Uh, he used the. Uh, what was it? Hang on, let me uh, let me find the thing right so here. So this is a this uh, is a real nasty guy. There is it right here. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna. I can't link it in chat, but I'm gonna send it to you on Skype. Okay. This is a really nasty guy. M. Death Fan, do you, what's this guy's name? G Gavin McGinnis? M. Death Fan, do you agree that this is a really nasty dude? There do you go. I, Look at that photo. Do I know Gavin? No, I do not know Gavin. I'm saying, like, if he really did that shit on Instagram, which I don't know, but I'm looking, I'm looking at a photo right now. Give me a second. <clears throat> BM fan. 
Oh my God. Believe in something even if it means sacrifice. So he's using the Colin Kaepernick thing and he, and this is this guy tooling up to kill this dude. Yes. And the guy died, obviously. Yes, yes. He, he stabbed and killed that guy on live television. Motherfucker, that's terrible. God almighty. And like, this is, this is the kind of stuff that, like, these kind of people's love, you know? For instance, like, there's also, uh, back there, like, Charlottesville and stuff, there were people that had shirts that said, Peanut O'Shea did nothing wrong. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Death like, Fan... Uh, a really popular claim is... Wait, um, ho- hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I gotta stop you, BM Fan. So, M. Death Fan, why are you saying that that's funny? The guy assassinated somebody. Aren't you supposed to be, like, for free speech and, and all that shit? Uh, it's a serious question. I'm trying to figure out. You're a very balanced, intelligent person. We have a beautiful relationship. I love you, but what? why Why are you laughing and saying it's funny? I don't know him. I'm just looking at the Instagram account, bro, and it looks to me to be legitimate. Are you saying that he did not post that on his Instagram account? How about you jump on the phone so that the three of us can have a con- conversation, huh? All right, go ahead. Continue your point. Um, oh no, I was just kind of talking about how, like, a lot of right-wingers, like, you'll see um, uh, a lot of, like, your really rampant anti-communist type people, um, like, they, they tend to adopt a, uh, a red, not red, a black and uh, yellow logo. And the logo is actually a photo of a helicopter with someone being kicked out of it. Because that's what Pinochet did with the disappearances. Right, 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 right. Like, they they very much celebrate this kind of stuff. So it's well documented that people in the far right have done fucking terrible atrocities. And we've already talked about um, people on your side doing terrible atrocities. But, mm-hmm. at the, and you know, this is kind of self-criticism. I went really hard after you for Antifa because they were putting their hands on people. And you were saying, well, you got people on the right that have violent elements. I'm like, no, there are, well, I don't know. This guy seems to me to be a very violent person. Oh, it's absolutely there. Also, did um, did you see that recent report with, um, I think earlier, <laughs> there, was, uh, there was another Patriot Prayer thing. And the police recently revealed that they actually had a number of, like the right wingers, had people stationed on top of a building with guns, like in a, like in a sniper position. Well, they were doing that during the whole ranch thing, right? They, a bunch of right wingers showed up with the, with the. No, no, this was like at a protest. God, oh my. Uh, let me hold see on. If I can actually find the BM, I, I'm, I'm like just came out. BM, I'm definitely confused right now because sure. M Death Fan okay. calls in a lot. And for some reason, he's not calling in right now, and I don't know why. M. Defin, why are you not calling in? What's the CLC reaction? What band is CLC? Uh, Corrosion of Conformity. Oh, okay. A lot of this oh, is... Oh, did, did, did you get my email earlier? I'm trying to get my... I found... sent you a bunch of Deathville Omega songs. Yes, you did. I'm trying to get my foundation here, he says. Okay. All right. Um, a lot of this is BS. What's BS, Commander Argo? Well, what are you trying to sort out? And Death Man, do you know what happened over the weekend or no? If you don't know, just say you don't know. That's fine. Okay. You've got a two week. Also, um, back during was it um when you made that facebook post i linked some uh uh some various photos not photos uh like twitter posts yeah um one of which showed the perspective from a kind of right winger perspective and you see the guy um kind of walking around he's like oh man these cops weren't here i'd instigate this right now man i just want to fuck those guys up right now uh talking like that and then a guy kind of starts like walking near him and you see like something happens and then immediately after it happens, a cop comes up. And he's like, well, I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything, officer. And then as the officer leaves, he's like, I elbowed that guy in the face. Yeah, and, and now we've got the fake news thing. I know BuzzFeed is horseshit. I mean horseshit. <sighs> Look, 
it seems to me that we've got, to Rachel's point, we've got violent elements on the right and the left, and we're having a hard time um, talking to each other. And Dirk, I've had, I've called out Antifa on numerous occasions, but when people on the right side are enacting violence, I would have expected people on the right side of the village to say, hey, this isn't right. This isn't what we do. We believe in free speech. I, I don't, I'm very surprised that this guy is posting YouTube or, or Instagram clips of somebody who killed somebody who was in the middle of a public debate. <laughs> like what? Like that's the essence of what the right wing is supposed to stand for. Isn't, isn't it supposed to be like, uh, 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 we're, we're for public debate and settling the issue in the public square. Like, what's happening? Anyway, okay, so we don't have anybody on the right side that wants to come in and talk about the, uh, the, um, right, free speech, except I mean, this, there's, I mean, like, you could, people are kind of talking, it's like, from what I can gather, based on the whole Proud Boy situation, is supposedly there may have been an incident where a Proud Boy or, or someone like that had possibly been robbed by some anti-fi individuals or whatever. Uh, as far as we can tell, that's still unknown. Uh, it's, just, it's a it's a theory or claim because supposedly one of the people yelled he's a Nazi or something as they were being arrested or something. Um, but okay. separate from that was the incident where we do have all that video footage where apparently one of the anti-fi type people supposedly uh, may have attempted to knock off one of their hats. And then that massive chase happens where you see like 10 people just beating the shit out of like three people on the ground. Okay, I see now. Yeah, but even it, because I'm looking at that thing that you sent me and the guy basically says nobody got attacked who wasn't asking for it or something like that. Which, if somebody knocks off your hat off your head, that's not, that's not, that doesn't give you justification to go and beat the hell out no. of him at a clip no, of three is, people versus ten. There is no justification 10. whatsoever for that. And, and they deserve all the horrible optics they're getting for this right now. Yeah. Okay, so shit, man. So M. Def Man, you got a sick kid and then you got another kid who who um, who broke his leg. God almighty. Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters, do you want to call us up and have a discussion? So... BM fan, you're on the left. I'm in the middle, and I'm assuming Foo Fighters is on the the right. So we can have a nice, nice, peaceful discussion. Also, also keep in mind, none of them are remotely uh, willing to defend the reality of that. Once again, this was a celebration of an assassination. Yeah, what the hell? You can't. This this is um. This is very strange to me. No, I, I can't. No, I'm not going to have you, Ben, call in as a uh, uh, right winger. I need somebody who's an actual right winger. Anyway, good Lord. Okay. Um, now now they're saying it was a comedy act. <laughs> that's, that's why Gavin posted that photo on his Instagram, clearly. Yeah, but oh, mystery, you're you're on the right wing, but do you know what happened with this situation? This seems indefensible to me. Like I, I I'm I'm very surprised that I don't see a bunch of right wingers saying, "What the fuck? We we don't we don't believe in this." Blah 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 blah. <sighs> but uh, yeah, I get it. He's a troll, but in our current political climate, do you think it's wise to post? An Instagram picture of a guy assassinating a head of a political leader? Like, like in our current milieu, like, is that the smartest thing to do? I just think we got to do better. Okay, I'm Death Fan. You're, all, you're in all caps, brother. I got my the big homie BM fan. He's waiting for you. I mean, I can send you plenty of, like, video footage of Gavin McInnes. That, that should help us all learn about who he is. Uh, how frequently he says like the n-word and things like that <laughs> well the n-word doesn't bother me but the the celebrating the assassination of another human being is is what bothers me um why do i need to learn who he is m death fan 
This is strange to me. Why do I, like, when we were talking about Antifa, you weren't saying we need to know who these people are. So why do we need to know about who the, the, the fucking guy who's celebrating murder, blatant murder of political opponents in, in probably the most, you know, electric political environment we've ever been in? Why do I need to know who he is as a person? <clears throat> Yeah, the left has called for assassinations of Trump mystery. That's true. But now we've got people on the right who won't necessarily call for assassinations of any specific people, but will post a live action shot. Is that a live action shot, BM? Um, what is? The, the, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's from the assassination. Yeah, he's posting a live action shot. That's bananas to me. That is bananas to me. I need if you yeah, but like I said, it's it's televised. Like there is video footage of that. You could go watch it on YouTube right now if you want. I am not looking that shit up. <laughs> His posts are what people really think instead of hiding their. Yeah, I hear that all the time. It's what re people really think. So are you saying his posts? So you're saying that people really do want to assassinate their political opponents with a sword, in broad daylight, Fred? Fred, call up, please. Yeah, I agree. All right, I think I think we have a winner here. Hold on. Hello. Oh, please merge that shit. <laughs> you look like you're itching to call, my guy. Yeah, <laughs> I sound like I'm itching to call, maybe, but uh, yeah, uh, I just I had to call in really quick. I only got a couple minutes here because I got a lot of shit going on here. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about your kid. So what happened? He broke his foot, leg. Yeah. So you know, I have a kid uh, on October second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Um, I'm about to go back to work tomorrow, and uh, two days ago, uh, early morning, I brought him down, and he, this toy that I bought him, and he fell in like two seconds, man. He just broke his uh, right tibia. Oh, my God. And he's, 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 he's only one and a half years old. He's 19 months, so he's um, a little over that, but he just doesn't understand what's going on, so Poor it's kid. been a heart-wrenching, terrible. Any of, you, any of you commenters, by the way, that have kids understand, the ones that don't um, just, you know. When you have kids, you'll understand. Yeah. It's terrible. So. Uh, BM fan, are you online? BM fan? BM fan, I'm calling you, so hang up with me right now and then get back on. Okay, so um, when BM fan calls us back, um, so talk to me about the situation, man. Are you, did, were you familiar with this? This guy's posting... This guy's posting uh, pictures of people getting assassinated. Okay, so you're talking about uh, Gavin McGinnis. He's uh, posting that uh, picture from was it was it Japan a long time ago? Or he's doing that. He's assassinating that socialist uh, politician or something like. That. I don't. I'm not even sure, man. I'm I'm halfway here because I'm half dead and asleep. But uh, is that what you're talking about? I think I saw that. Yeah. Okay. Who gives a shit about that? First of all, okay. I do. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, are you familiar with 4chan? Do you understand the power and influence that 4chan has over everything? I do, but wh why are you just dismissing that? Don't you think that's irresponsible to post, given our current political climate? Somebody uh, posting a... No, I mean, okay, so you're posting a picture of someone getting assessed. Okay, I've seen... No, no, absolutely not. Are you, are you kidding me? Have you seen the shit coming out of the left in the last, like... I don't know, ever since uh, <laughs> since Trump got elected. I've seen his head got cut off. I've seen... And that yeah, was okay. wrong. That was yeah, yeah, wrong. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's right, but here's the thing. It's like these guys are going to be like, okay, you're going to do that kind of shit? We're going to respond the same way. And you think that that's wise? That's wise to do in our current political climate? I don't think it's wise. I mean, who the hell knows what that even means? What's wise? It's crazy time that we live in. And um, here, people here. are willing to say or do anything to, by hook or by crook to win. No. Okay, for instance, I saw your BuzzFeed fucking, uh, uh, you know, video that you posted, right? Did you see the bottom of that? You, you scroll all the way down, you see all the people that are supposedly white nationalists. By the way. The o OK power sign. By, by the way, way, by the way, BM fan is online, so you can talk to him directly. BM. So I was always been wondering, what does BM stand for? Bob Black Metal. Metal. Oh shit. Okay, sorry. So you're uh, M Death fan and he's BM fan. You guys should be brothers, but here you are on so completely you're, different you're, sides. You're, you're what? Mellow Death. Megadeth. The Mellow Death. Actually, Megadeth. 
Nah, that was mellow death. I, I, I hear that's mellow death. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not sitting there string, string, like screaming like a stuck pig. Uh, no, I actually can play and play circles around most people that can actually play music. So that's the difference. <laughs> All right, what brothers, is, brothers, what brothers. That, brothers. What does that even mean? Uh, wait, anything? stop, stop. Brothers, let, let's have a serious conversation, okay? Because M. Death, you're on the right, and then and then BM's on the I, left. I, I, I hate, I hate labels, though, man. I know There's we hate labels. Right now. I know we hate labels, but but Stringer. we're gonna use them because not everybody's smart as is as y'all, especially not okay. me. So what I want to know is, I want to know, um, BM fan, go ahead, respond to what you've heard in a civil way, please. Uh, I I didn't even hear what he said. Okay, uh. M. Death fan, go ahead and, and say what you said. You said the, the picture of the assassination, not a big deal. No, it's not what I'm saying. It's not what I'm saying at all. Actually, I, I don't really know what's going on in the current uh, pop culture, you know, meme wars today. The greatest had... gist that I got is you're saying it's shit posting and who cares? I've seen Trump with his head cut off. I've seen crazy shit with Melania. I've seen crazy shit with his daughter. I've seen okay. this and that and the other thing. I'm supposed to be sitting here and worried I've... about... Uh, some a picture of some dude actually assassinating another dude back like 50 or 70 years ago, and I'm supposed to be offended by it? Okay, just explain that to me, please. I mean, there's a difference between, let's say, um, you know, to, to bring things back to music, let's say Cannibal Corpse. When Cannibal Corpse are doing, you know, violent things in their lyrics, it's because it's just gory and it's horror. There's a difference between when you have something actually real. Okay, so you're saying that someone that's bringing up a historical uh, picture that actually happened in a certain, you know, how many years ago, uh, is bad versus someone's talking about I come blood. Yes. That's like, you know, how is that any different? I mean, what the, what are we talking about here? Is this a serious conversation? Like, can we, can we, can we, can we start over again and like talk about who Gavin McGinnis is? Okay. And do you even know? Do you really know who he is? I have. This or are is... you just sitting there talking about you've read memes and you've heard things? Or do you actually know my, what he on. says and what he believes in? I mean, do my you brother, want hold... me to like quote the Southern Poverty Law Center and stuff like that? The Southern Poverty Law Center. Yeah. You really want to quote them? Okay, hold on, stop. BM, do you have a direct quote from Gavin? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, get me something from Gavin. Uh, I'm definitely. I, I have no idea who this guy is. I, this is the first I'm he hearing of this brother. All I know is That's that That's absolutely fine. And I don't. I don't fault you for that. But like you know, you can't. We're never going to get through this right here, right now, in the moment. You're both going to have to go back and do proper research to come back with a real answer. No, I don't. But, You're completely okay. wrong. Listen, if somebody posts a swastika on their Instagram feed, I don't need to do a bunch of or hammer and a sickle. I don't need to do a bunch of research on them. I don't know what exactly what happened. You'd have to show me the actual post so I can see what you're talking about. I only saw some some seventeen year old Japanese dude, like I think it was Japanese, like going they got a snapshot and he's ready to go in and kill some other politician like kill, he's ago. killing a socialist. Okay. And okay. then in Again. the in the tag Again. it says believe in something even if it means sacrificing everything. And he's saying <laughs> this He's saying this in a current political climate where leftists are using violence, right? And calling themselves socialists. And he's posting something where somebody kills a socialist. You don't think that that's problematic at all? I don't like it. I don't fucking like it at all. But let me tell you okay. something. How, okay, so then let, let's talk about the conversely, the other side of that, the yang of that, right? Uh, what have you seen in the last year that's just as bad? I'm not saying that this is right or this is wrong. I'm deaf fan. This... Hold on, brother. I talked exclusively. I talked at length with BM fan for about a half an hour to 45 minutes about how fucked up Antifa is. We're not going to do this. Okay. Well, what about that? We're not doing that. What I'm talking about okay. now is now we're focusing on these motherfuckers on the right who are using violence and are using hateful rhetoric and are being irresponsible. Mm. And what I'm talking about is why can't we just focus on them I don't want to hear about Antifa. Everybody knows how I feel about Antifa. I need you to talk to me about what's going on on this side of the right wing. Do you agree with this methodology? Do you agree with using violence? Do you agree? No. Okay, so you're you're repudiating what this guy has done. You have to understand who this guy is to see how he trolls people. 
I'm sorry. You have to understand that part. So you're, you're not gonna re- you're not gonna repudiate that. This. What's that? So you're not gonna not repudiate what he's doing. It's not that simple, man. I'm sorry. I can't. It's not that simple. It's not that simple. Okay. Well, I mean, when um, I talked when I talked to uh, BM fan, he was saying the same shit about Antifa. Okay. Well, Antifa. Okay. Look, first of all, let, let's talk about the racial divide in this country, right? I've been thinking about this a lot. Um, even you know when you're not on fireside and stuff like that. This is that's just why this is great, by the way. And I know your your viewers agree. Everyone's like, you know, it's getting people think again, thinking again. It's like a second renaissance going on right now. People are starving for information. It's crazy times. We live in like Sodom and Gomorrah, and things are coming at us in every which way, and every which way spun. And how do you make sense of all this shit, right? But I've been doing it. So I was, I'm a former Marine. I'm a combat vet. I came out of that shit. I came out. I saw how that was uh, um, um, reported in the media. This is how I got into all this shit. This is, I mean, I'm giving you a long story. I don't want to go into it too much to bore everybody. But I've been watching this shit go on since then to now. And if you don't know the story that's happened, the things that have happened and how things have changed in this country and people are just literally looking at their phones and scrolling and learning about the world and thinking that whatever they've subscribed to and whatever page they like is going to, you know, dictate their, in their echo chamber, like what is going on with the world. No wonder we're at this moment in time, but it goes back. You have to like, it, man, we could talk for hours, man. This is why we need to have a real fireside chat, man. Have a couple of beers and really talk, because it's a it's a it's a deep conversation. It's kind of like Jordan Peterson says, where like you know, I wrote a book about that shit. How am I gonna talk about it in two minutes? Um, I don't know. Does that make any sense to you, or am I just no it, tired? It, it no, it it makes a lot of sense to me, and and I think you know what we're trying to accomplish with the with with these discussions. Um, I want us all to come to better together. That's what I want. Yeah. I think that that's what's important, and that I think we should have a you know a presupposition that you know you know people are willing to do whatever it takes by hook or by crook to win power, and we have to come. Let's start with what we both both agree in agree agree on, and that's one of the things that I agree on. I mean, do you believe that people believe it on both sides? There are people that are willing to do anything to win power. Right, and what and, I'm saying is those are the people that we need to repudiate. And, I, I agree with you 100%. And we shouldn't justify or normalize. And what's it's what's I don't want to insult anyone. But I've got four kids. I'm here. Me too. So yeah. I bring one kid, I said, "What the fuck did you do? Why did you do that?" Mm-hmm. Immediately, I don't hear any ownership or responsibility. They always say, "Well, what about so and so?" So when I go to Antifa and I say, you guys are assaulting people for having American flags. This is America. This is free speech. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know what they do? They say, well, what about those people on the right? How come you never talk about the right? Well, I talk, I, I talk to BM fan who's an Antifa guy. He's not in Antifa to my knowledge, but he, he, he was he's sympathetic to them. And I, I, I raked the guy across the coals. But at least he stood up and said, hey, this is what I believe. This is what I support, etc." Now I got a guy on the right hand, on the right side. I don't know, like, you know, Franz Ferdinand, I mean, that was World War, right? That, that created a World War. One assassination sent the entire world into bloodshed, right? Yes. So now, here's, what, here's the setup, bro. You've got right-wingers who are characterizing leftists as socialists to their own detriment because socialists are saying the, the Bernie and, or, 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 you know, all these guys are saying that they're socialists, right? So that's that's in the aether. Then you've got people on the left side initiating violence, like the Antifa thing in was it Oregon when they were controlling traffic? Yeah. Can you tell, you that fat girl? She's like, sorry, I don't mean to hit on the fat girl. She's like, sorry, you got to turn right. Right, and the uh, guy goes, I'm sorry, why you got? I mean, I'm sorry. I have kids now, so I don't have the luxury of principles, but. Um, Back in my day, if that should happen, I'm sorry, that's not going down. Well, yeah, and and and, and I don't know if you heard, but the guy says why, and she said because I said so. What? I heard that. So so now you got all this anger on the right side, right? Then there is this conflict, and this guy posts a a image of a kid killing a socialist. And you don't uh, think there's any subliminal? I, I know where you're coming from, man. I know where you're coming from. Okay, and what I'm saying is. That is is not the way to elevate the conversation. 
That is the way to go down and lower and create incite more violence. You know how many, bro, we're just some dinky huge backwoods YouTube channel from Maine. We're not famous at all. We got 12 million views. So this guy apparently has a name. You think he's going to be able to control how everybody interprets that picture? Gavin McGinnis? Yeah. If you understand Gavin McGinnis, dude, I think that That's you will the... look at him, you will look at the whole thing differently. I, just, <laughs> I don't, you just give, I'll give you a couple weeks, man. Do you just know any, with, let, deep, let me ask you a question. That shit. Do you deep, know anybody from the shit. intelligence community? Yeah, I do. Do you, know what, psycho do you know what psychological well, I, operations are? I do. Okay. Do you, do you, so when we drop leaflets in certain areas <laughs> to influence yeah. certain behaviors, right? You know where yes. I'm going with this? Yes. We drop yeah, shit. We drop shit like this in certain areas before we send in the fucking green berets to recruit people. You realize that? I, I can speak to this very much because I'm, I'm again I'm a combat veteran so, and I know a lot about this shit. So can I? I so you, I do not agree. I do not agree with our country's foreign policy in a lot of ways. Hold on, but you, but you, you and I both know that when we're about to send green berets to go and recruit and train people, before you you you, you send you send the CIA block in there. To start fomenting resistance, and then you send the Green Berets in there to train the people who are willing to resist. You drop leaflets like this, right? To recruit people, mm -hmm. right or wrong? It does happen. Okay, so you agree that we do this shit in other countries to foment violence? I hate it. Absolutely oh, hate it. But but then but it's happening in our country. M Death fan, you have the background. BM fan, I guarantee you doesn't have the background. You know. That in other countries we do this to foment violence. So why are you acting like, oh man, it's just it's just an Instagram post when you know good and well that if a couple million people look at this, one person is gonna be stupid and do some dumb shit eventually, right? It's the nature of free speech, man. It's the nature of it. You cannot speak for everybody. Everyone has their <sighs> their, their own voice, and it's, it's too it's too much of a deep conversation to have at this moment. And you There's won't you won't repudiate it because it's somebody on your side who's going against Antifa, who you it's have. It's not on my side, for. man. I like. Okay, look. Here's the thing. Okay. We, we, this is what we need to have another conversation because I think this all ties to Christianity and there's much more that I would like to go and delve in deep into that shit because this is the problem, man. I know that you're a Christian and I know that you're into this uh, political crap, but where's, where does it melt? Where does it touch? Where does, how do you explain it in your Christian worldview? I think there is a... How I explain it, can... it is that you, the job of responsible people in this country, Christian or otherwise, is to show the contrast between people who use violence to get across their message or stifle other people's message versus people who are confident and secure that their message is the best thing Let for the American people. Let me ask you something. People. Who is using the violence right now? Both sides are using violence now. Oh, no, 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 no. Who is using the violence right now? Okay, first of all... Who I used the KKK, violence KKK, in, KKK, on KKK Saturday? On side here? How many KKK are, are, are supposed in the United States right now? I don't know. 3, I didn't look at... in the whole country. How many fucking Antifa people are out there? Like, okay, three thousand. So I'm pretty good at math. Three thousand in the country. I have fifty states. It's probably like sixty people are state. Okay, that ain't shit. How many Antifa people are out there right now willing to do this shit? Wait, 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 willing... wait, wait. You didn't ask me who has bigger numbers. You asked me who's using violence. I don't see. I, I mean, okay, look. Was, okay, did I, uh, the Proud Boys I, use I, violence last week, yes or no? Uh, I, okay, so I, I looked into it a little bit when I heard when I saw it happen, and I think that it did happen that way. Well, it did at least that there was, there was, someone got their ass kicked, but I, w I think you should look to see who actually started the fight. Oh my God, doesn't this sound like childishness to you? What about it them? Does, but I, they I started it. it. And it's, that's the problem. That's the problem that we, that's why I want to talk about Christianity and I want to talk about the the, the real purpose of being here, man. I don't give a sh shit about. But because it's he said, she said, and here we are, fucking three thousand miles away or two thousand miles away, talking about what we what we saw reported on the news and all that shit. We're, we're we're fighting about it, and it's like who, what echo chamber are we in? What's what's right? What's wrong? I want to go deeper than that. That's where I want to go then. All right. Well, the next time you call. You um let let's do it, but you should have ref you should have repudiated that action. That's a terrible terrible okay. look. I will I will okay okay look I'll give you this. I don't want anyone fighting. I want us to all get along, man. I want us to be friends. I want okay, us to good. understand each other. I think we're a lot more. Uh, everyone okay look. I was in the military. I was in the Marine Corps. I got treated worse than most people understand. I got treated like shit. By who? Worse. In the Marines. 
I was in the Marines, bro. Do you understand what that means? Like, it doesn't mean that I'm a badass or all that stuff. I'm just telling you, I was with people that from all over the country, white, black, red, yellow. No, it means whatever. you're a badass, for sure. It means it means this, and I'm just telling you, from my experience from that, we're, look, we all joked at each other. We all got along. We were human beings. We were in the worst of the worst and the shit. And uh, I come out of that. It's very hard for me to. It's always been hard for me to assimilate back in society when everyone's so like racial and all. It doesn't matter. We're all. I'm still good friends with all these people. They still keep in contact with me. I still keep in contact with them. I love them. I still take a bullet for them. And that's where we need to get. I think people in their raw when in the raw moment are pretty similar, man. And um, I agree with that. And beyond that, that's all, man. I just. uh, I, it's no, just the truth. no, we're it's we're truth. we're agreeing with that. I I agree with you a hundred percent. What I'm saying is that this this type of 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 action and that type of rhetoric and that type of use of free speech is um is is not what we need to be doing in order to elevate the conversation in this country. And I think that we've we've all got a role to play as to what we put out in the ether, especially. You you understand that we use images like that when we want to foment conflicts in other countries. If you agree with that, then you have to concede that that has the potential to foment physical conflict in our country, right? So I, I, I agree with you to some extent. But the thing is, like, you, I, I mean, I'm so surprised that people are so, I'm going to use the word butthurt about seeing this, when... I have seen some crazy shit over the last couple of years that are that's way worse than some actual historical picture. Uh, like talking about, and you know what I'm talking about. It, we're, we live in a really weird climate today. But to say that this is the thing that we're all supposed to be, you know, upset about, but uh, with everything else that I've seen going on the last couple of years, I'm not saying either is right. I'm not saying that. But okay. let's, why are we so surprised about this one singular issue? This tell one me what I tell me what I'm saying. Tell me what I'm saying. What's my issue? You don't like the fact that this is the way that we communicate with each other. If someone, it, it doesn't matter what side you're from. This is not the proper way to have a dialogue and a conversation about what's important. Right. And, and, and okay. I, right. Am I right there? Okay. I, so, but the problem is that people are. Okay, we're rational people. We we think that we're rational because we think we know what that means. We live in this. We're much closer to the center than you and I, but there are a lot of people that are way all over the place and they're ignorant and they're and they're this and they're that. We live in idiocracy, bro. Have you seen that movie? <laughs> you're, you're, thought, BM fan, are you are, are you on still? <laughs> BM fan. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, I want you to jump. I, I've just been letting you guys go at it. <laughs> well, I, I I agree. We live in an idiocracy. But doesn't that prove my point that we need to be extra? Doesn't it prove that logical, responsible people need to be more careful considering we're living in an idiocracy? I can answer that. Go for it. Uh, This just proves that human government doesn't work and that we need God to come back and uh, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's all I have to say about that. (laughs) Well, actually, I agree with you, but... uh, He's not just going to magically come down and fix things. I mean, he's left us with certain principles and death then that we well, have to I mean, follow. Well, I mean, you got to read the Bible. I mean, what does the Bible say? I mean, if you actually believe in that, what's going to happen at the end? I think there's a lot to it, and it's probably going to be pretty bad. I don't know. We'll see. That's completely the opposite of what the Bible says about the future, but we'll talk about uh, it next time you call. Uh, well, no, the future, yes, but the hard time in the seven years. Anyway, there's. I'm saying the that time where it is going to be bad no the bible the bible doesn't say anything about seven years of anything badness i disagree okay next time you call we'll talk about it so so some of this is is motivated by your theology you think that things are going to get really really bad so you're hunkering down for a cultural jihad what what no it's a it's a question i'm not i'm not going after you i mean it's a question okay um no, no, no. That, that, that's just my worldview. That's nothing to do with this conversation. I just, I'm sorry. It's, it is connected in my, in my brain, but um, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm not, okay, look. We just need to figure out how, how to have a dialogue. We need to figure out how to talk to each other. We need to stop. We need to, we need to turn off. Okay, look. I told you before. It's a monolithic media. Do you see that now? 
Have you seen a little bit of that? Well, well, you know what I did? You made a comment a couple weeks ago, and it inspired me to start watching the news. Yeah. And so I, I, I watched MSNBC, CNN, and Fox. And um, good Lord. Yeah, it's bad. It's so bad. <laughs> like, the lack of objectivity about the exact oh. same fucking uh, subject is amazing to me. Uh, BM fan, talk to M Death fan. Um, what are you hearing from our conversation? Um, I mean, I right now I generally would agree with what you're saying. Obviously, oh. um, I, for the most part, I feel like you're just kind of trying to downplay everything. Um, which I mean, you know, it's it's your side. I mean, I. Basically, you know, as Vin mentioned uh, before, like he went hard on me like a couple, like a, was it two months ago, probably now or something like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like it's to me, uh, it's kind of like a situation where I think the the end goal is uh, something that I agree with. Uh, so, like, I do generally support. You know, the, the actions of Antifa. Uh, obviously, I don't support every Antifa because. No Antifa is really the same. Uh, you okay, know, so let, let, Antifa, me Portland, let me ask Portland, for instance, is yeah, not yeah. Antifa, uh, New York, or, or whatever. Oh, they're not Antifa. They're not. So they're – okay, so if I go in the streets and I literally stop traffic and I want to, you know, literally put I mean, a black do, mask on and, do you and have intimidate any, people? Do you have any proof that what happened in Portland was actually Antifa? Okay, so now we're going to go philosophical because really, do you have any proof other than what you've heard on – your streaming internet service or your your, your news service. I mean, do you really know? No. But I've seen it enough. It's all over the it's all over the internet, man. Have you seen I what's mean, going like on? if you look at like the, uh, the thing you're mentioning about Portland, okay. That's there isn't one. really any indication that that was Antifa doing that. Well, okay, that stop stop right there. Stop right there cuz I don't want to get lost. It just looked like black block. Stop, stop. I don't want to get I don't want to get lost in the black. weeds. Let's say BM fan then it was Antifa. Brown okay. shirts. Let's just assume it was Antifa. Ask your question, sure. M. Death. What was that? Ask your question. So we're assuming it was Antifa. Ask your question to M. Death fan. Assuming what? Well, wait, assuming Portland was Antifa? Yeah. So uh, M. Death, talk to BM fan. Ask him your question. Okay. So I'll, okay. So I'll let's fight. let's assume that Portland was Antifa. So, M. Death, what's your question? You're asking me what my question is? He's been talking. Okay. What my question is? Yeah, didn't you have a question for him about do, does he agree with what Antifa's doing or whatever? I thought he was going to explain it. I thought he was going to talk about it. He just said it wasn't a tape. How do you know if it's Antifa? We're getting off the rails here. Okay, okay, okay. So, he's assuming he's assuming it's Antifa. BM fan, go yeah, ahead and explain. You're assuming it's Antifa. I'll, for the sake of the conversation, I'll say, okay, sure, let's say that it was Antifa. Okay, go I for mean, it. I any, anyone with, like, you know, under 45 degree, you know, I, or 45 IQ, you know? Okay, go ahead. Why you got to be that salty? I mean, have you seen what these people have done to nice people who's driving down the street? Nice? Oh my. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. <laughs> I do. And if I ever see that shit happen, it's not going to be. I mean, I so think a lot of you aren't going to be okay with that. Do you willingly perform vehicular manslaughter? Uh, it, I, there has been a lot of good BM fan, about BM that. I'll fan, I... BM fan, I think that those those kids know who to do that to and who not to do that to. Believe me, they're not doing that shit in the hood with black people. Hell no, because <laughs> they Hell know we'll no. fuck them up. Okay, I mean, do, you, do, you, do you know why they were doing that though? I'm the, I mean, I mean, if they're gonna die, then who gives a shit? No, like, do, do you know why they why that they had black? No, that, and that that's street. what I want you to explain to us. Tell it, tell no, us. Be, because they were holding a vigil. Okay. Oh, it's so glorious. Wait, they were holding and, a vigil because Death someone Man. got killed by, by some cops. Stop, stop. And Death Man. Uh, okay, that, that's Patrick different. Kimmons. That's I think different. it was Patrick Kimmons. Stop. I think, I that's don't why, know. They, that's why the, you hear them yell out the name Patrick Kimmons. Okay, stop. Stop right there. Okay, and Death Man, let's be respectful. I don't want to go bad there. I don't want to go anywhere negative there. Let, let's be respectful. Okay, so what you're saying yes, is they were blocking off the street because they were doing a vigil for somebody who got killed by the cops. Yes. Okay. Um, but what about that video where they chased that old guy got out of the car and they started hitting his car and all that? Did you see that part? Um, I think I saw clips of it. Okay, what about that? Um, probably not a good thing. Okay, 
the, the, you're equivocating just like just like my brother was equivocating five minutes ago. Probably no. not a good thing or not a good thing. Okay, not a good thing. Okay, do you repudiate that type of use of violence and intimidation against your fellow citizens? You won't, you won't do it, will you? I mean, my thought on the matter is like, you know, they're they're blocking off the street. They're, well, I mean, they're just, you know, they're pointing people towards the detour. Like the guy, you know, you don't have to start making a scene out of it, I suppose. But I mean, I, yeah, their response to start, you know, doing whatever they did was was bad. So you were, you repudiated. They shouldn't have done it. Sure, I don't know that. Okay, bless God, we're getting somewhere. You're wrong, mystery. <laughs> we're getting places. I don't think you're bless God, Vin, but okay. <laughs> uh, but again, okay. Like I said, it's, it, it, just for the for the purpose of the conversation, we said that yes, that was Antifa, but I mean, there is really no indication that it was. Okay, now M Death fan. Do you agree yep. that it was valid for them to block off the street in the case of this vigil, or no? Oh, man. If that is the case, which we don't know, uh, and I've seen a lot of other things that have happened over the last years, few years, uh, that it's, it, I wouldn't say it's always a vigil, but in that kind of case, um, I just don't think that you should, okay, look, you can do whatever you want, you can protest, you should be able to do whatever you want, but don't get in the front of people that have no idea what the hell is going on in front of them. Okay, look, I'm from Chicago, right? I live in uh, liberal um, central, you could say, and uh, central of the country, and more than that. Uh, and I was down, so I decided to go downtown, and I'll be straight with you guys. I went downtown for the Trump rally at uh, in downtown Chicago. It actually got closed down because of all the protesters that went there. And I thought it would be nuts, so I went. I just didn't like that. So, um, I could tell. Know, yeah, I'm like that. That's me. Uh, so what was happening though is all these people were showing up, and these people were like, these people were just getting poured in. They were giving them printed signs that didn't even make any sense. And they had they had like uh, ambulances coming in. They were stopping the ambulances from getting through uh, by protesting. I mean, can you imagine? It was just ridiculous. It was just an unbelievable uh, uh, offense to the First Amendment. And that, in my look. People should be able to talk and, and have dialogue like you and I. If people were going to get in between you and I, if somehow people could somehow protest in the comments and, like, knock us offline, I mean, is that right? Is that right? Or, or should we be able to speak and should we be able to have a dialogue and somehow maybe come to an understanding over time? Um, I just I'm, – I'm against that. I think everyone should be able to have a rational conversation. You should be able to entertain a thought without accepting it and um, – that's just my worldview, and if you think otherwise, I mean, I'm sorry, I just think it's negative, and, like, if you can't have a conversation and argue with somebody, then you're never going to be able to come to some, you know, uh, uh, common ground, so in my opinion, that's just paramount. Okay. Um, BM fan, do you think that there's any way for a person like you and a person like M. Death to ever come to some sort of compromise or consensus on what needs to happen? Um... thing is that we need to move towards a society wherein we value basically human life ultimately yeah uh, so like, the reality like, is that a lot of like you know say right wing kind of views or whatever you know the, the, all this nazi stuff all these white ethno state kind of things you're hearing about uh like that the end goal of that is just lots and lots of death um like when people talk about ethno states, like there's only one way to make an ethno state, and that's to kill everyone else. Yeah, but do you um, believe that most people in the right wing want who the hell an ethno state? That shit? Seriously, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, like, no, that's, inter that's, interrupt that's, me. That's I'm just a moderator. Right. I'm not I mean, important. The alt right, I suppose, but that is what the alt right is. The alt right is very much believes in the Jewish question and all sorts of crap like that. I disagree 100. percent No, that the alt. That's the difference between the alt right and the alt light. Maybe you're confused with the alt light, but the alt right, like the oh, day. This, this is confusing. This is confusing. That kind well, of well, stuff. Well, I mean, how well, the hell can anyone make sense of that? That is fundamentally Richard Spencer, all that stuff. That's very much so focused on the Jewish question. Yes, we agree. Richard Spencer is that type of guy. But here, here's my question: What do you think the percentage of people who would vote for Trump and and, and identify as right wing, right or conservative, whatever we want to call it? What do you think the percentage is? of them that are follow a Richard Spencer or care about the Jewish question. 
So one percent well, is it fifty five percent? Trump supporters. Well, Trump's base is what twenty percent of the country. What? Okay. He fucking won the election. You do realize half the country didn't vote, right? <laughs> Okay, like, well, it depends how you look at it. Like, what, kids? Ha, 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 are you laughing, really? Is this funny? Like, I mean, no, you're talking about yes. senior citizens? Are you no, talking about young yes, kids? Are you legit, talking about like, idiocracy crowd that doesn't know what the fuck's going on? Guys, stop talking, other, please. Like, stop talking over each other, please. Stop talking over each other. No, this works. Um, no, yeah, like, um, Trump's base is basically like 20% of the entire country. Um, of that percent, I don't know, maybe like... Also, actually, the other thing is you got to look into, like, the QAnon people because that's kind of leaning in that direction also. Um, I would say, like, uh, 5 to 7% of them. 5 to 7% of the millions of people that voted for Trump are genocidal ethnostatists. I would say yes. Okay. Or, you, they may not be oh. it right now, but they could be pushed in that manner. Okay. What data do you have that supports that? Um, let's see. Did you I just... would point towards the influx of white nationalist propaganda on Fox News. Sorry, I think you're high as draft pussy. Such as, uh, you know, Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram All right. recently were doing some very white nationalist All type right. B- BM fan, BM fan, you know me by now. You know how my mind works, right? Sure, yep. You got to give me hard data. But you want actual empirical evidence. I do not have actual empirical. I will admit this is a feels over reels. Okay, so this is something I want you to think about because it's very possible that you have a prejudice against people on on the conservative side. And I think if you did the numbers, you would be surprised, maybe even encouraged, that it's not as high as 5 to 7%. It's probably closer to 0.3%, if that. I think you've you've demonized everybody on the right wing or a, a large chunk of them, and I don't think it's that extreme. I don't think, for example, that M. Death Fan, who supports our channel, loves our channel, is a racist. Now, I know that you can have black friends and still be racist as hell. Believe me, I'm in Maine. But characterizing people on the other side in these demonic terms i think is unhelpful so what i want you to okay, do I, i'll fully agree with that i actually just made a post on facebook right now because a really popular right wing meme right now is the npc meme have you heard about that no what is that uh the npc meme going around right now it's it's basically just meant to de- uh, dehumanize uh it kind of asserts the the notion that the other side or whatever is an npc so all they do is basically just follow their programming Come what's up an, with, you know, what's an NPC? Uh, not player character. It's a video game term. So we're like not people. Oh, uh, I, I see. I see. So we're, we're talking about dehumanizing people. Yes. Right, yeah, that's, that's a really popular right wing meme going around. But also the left is using it too. Um, and I actually mentioned in the poem, like, it's like, yeah, it's a funny meme. But the reality is that this is, you know, it's fundamentally uh, dehumanizing. Right. And you're seeing that there's a message beneath the ha 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 funny shit. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, good. And that's kind of where I'm at. That's what I'm worried about. Um, because I, I don't think all... Uh, I'm deaf fan. I want you to make some closing statements here. I, I don't think that all of us have a full appreciation for the fact that we're in a social media 24-hour news cycle context and what that is doing to our minds and what that does to the way that we think. And I can tell you, and don't anybody ask me, but we have done things like this in other countries at much lower scales and have fomented wars. I'll no, say, I can tell you all about Syria alone. I mean, I was, what happened in Syria right, is just the saddest thing ever. If people, if Americans understood what we have done to cause the deaths of lots of people in Syria. Uh, again, I was in uh, Afg- I was in Iraq, and I know a lot of people in Afghanistan. I could talk a lot about our foreign policy, man. I mean, you well, wouldn't, well, people yeah, there, would be unbelievably there, surprised to hear about what's happened. Well, countries. there's there's foreign policy, but then there are tactics and strategies that get used to foment conflicts that end in bloodshed in other countries you're you're right uh it does happen right and 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 what i'm saying is 
the shit that we used to have psychological operators doing <laughs> in other countries to set up CIA and Green Beret recruitment and training is happening in mass at a psychological level in our country. And I'm not saying there are outside players doing it. I'm not, hold on. I'm not saying that there are outside players doing it. I'm saying the same principles of imagery and demonization and dehumanization of the other and images and quick flashes of things. Those are the things that we used at a much smaller scale. And what I'm saying is I don't think we're seeing the danger here. So, so if you have certain backgrounds and understandings of things, you, you it, it, it concerns you because you go, what the fuck? I've seen this before. Um, so that's that's where I'm at. So a lot of people are like, oh, ha, ha, it's just funny. Well, look, the, the, the Kristallnacht didn't just happen overnight. There were articles in German newspapers with, with making fun of Jews and, and elongating noses, etc. before you went there. Um, so that's what I'm worried about. Um, okay, M. Death Van, go for it. Well, I mean, you're right. Uh, um, back then, it was a little different than it is today. We live in a different age. We live in the internet age, and we've, we're actually well into it. And look what it's turned into, man. I remember when it first came out, like, what was a newer thing to be on the internet? Everyone was so excited about, you know, what this is going to give human beings to be able to do and communicate. And it just became a direct reflection of society, like almost like a catalyst for its own destruction. That's almost like what 4chan and all these other crazy websites are. But, um, you're, you know, look, uh, internally, like what, what the country does externally, um, it's worse than people understand. And I don't even want to get into that because it's just, it's why I am the way I am. Um, it is why I question, um, you know, news reported. It's very important to do so. We don't live, okay, here's the thing. We live in capitalism, capitalistic society. I still believe that that is the best of the worst ideas we've had. But it is susceptible to crony capitalism, and that's what happens. And when you have corporate news and then when you have presidents, uh, you know, uh, allowing propaganda against American people, and this is, this is fact, by the way. And I know, see, this is my, my opinion, Ben, and I'm going to be going out on a limb here. I think you know more than you could let on. And I know that you listen to a lot of different other sources, then you kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. It is, there is some things to be said about that, and you should question the news that is presented to you. It's very hard for the normal American citizen to be like, well, how do you figure this shit out? Where do you go? What www.what to figure this crap out? I'm sorry, it just takes a long time, and you have to be really motivated into it to kind of kind of get an idea what the fuck is going on. Um, uh, but if you just listen to what the boob tube tells you, uh, it's going to get everyone pitted against each other because there are people that are, that's their job. It's like they want to win by hook or by crook, no matter what, to win the desired outcome. Even if it means misinformation and selling, um, it is what goes on in this country. And, um, and the more, the sooner that Americans figure this out, the better. That's all I have to say. That's good. That's really good, guys. And, and the last thing I'd say is sit back and think about who benefits by us being at each other's throats. To, to, to piggyback off of what M. Death says, who benefits by us all being at each other's throats, whether over the internet, in meme wars, or even on the streets? Um, cause that's the question. Okay. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys. I love you. And death will, will, you're going to call back. Go take care of your kids. Um, say hi to your wife. She's a hero. And you know what? BM fan. We're cool, man. I have no animosity towards you. No anger and animosity in my heart. I, I'm, I'm, I was just having conversations and then all of a sudden, like you start like throwing this crowd. I'm like, what's the point of that? Like what? <laughs> He's a Marine. Once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. You always need to come. Like, what's the point of bringing up that? He had a combat MOS. Hey, M. Death, you you got you you play guitar, huh? You're pretty prolific on the guitar. Uh, you know, I'm getting there. I still play though. I got a Dave Mustaine uh, Angels of Death BMNT and a Marshall full stack, and uh, yeah, it, no it rips shit. the fucking neighborhood. No shit. All right, all right. Love you, my brother. Have a good one. Uh, take it easy, guys. Later, cool. buddy. Have a good night. All right, BM fan. Very good, sir. All righty. Oh, um, did I ever send you my band? No, you never did. You're in a band? Yeah, I'm in a band. Is it called Antifa?